Do I have pizza on my face? Probably. <laughs> I just shoved a piece of pizza in my mouth and ran out the door because I gotta go dumpster diving. So, that's what we're doing, obviously. I mean, that's what I do, right? We're on our way to go meet Miss Beth and we're gonna stop through the one town that we go to every once in a while and we do have luck there. Plus, I need to find some more items to make my dumpster dinner and um, all the other dumpsters, Joann's, Ollie's, Staples, you name it. Then we're gonna go check a different town and see if we can find some new dumpsters. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. dollars a strand. I know. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh my goodness. I never spend that much money on garland. That's straight crazy. Who needs garland? Yeah. I'm your girl. We left some in there because yeah. I don't need all of it. We would have been up to the roof with it. Yeah. <laughs> we left a good bit in there. I just got a $43 rib roast. Beef bone-in rib roast. $43.41, $7 a pound. This is 6.21 pounds. Use or freeze by January 1st. That is insane. $43 steak, guys. You can eat good out the dumpster. Yeah, really? <laughs> Shoot, I don't even buy stuff like that. that. That's nuts to me. Let's go check Dollar General and then we're gonna head to the next even if there is anything, who knows if we'll be able to find it in this dumpster. Oh yeah, we're not gonna be able to. There's just, yeah. it's just shelves the whole way. Shelving everywhere. Oh, that bottled water. Oh my God, you uh, see that guys? Tons of bottled water. Oh really? Tons. Let's see if I can get anything over here. Oh. Jesus. Hey, it's slippery. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. Cups. Plastic cups. Just them up here. We can grab them. Box, yeah, the box. box. None. I mean, it's just like. Late. There's so much on top of that yeah, dumpster. It's possible. We'd have to come here when they were closed to. Take all those shelves out. Take all those shelves out. They're open. And it's starting to pour. And my foot got soaked. <laughs> so we're just going to call that one good. I grabbed as much water as I can. I grabbed all the floral picks and the um, plastic Thanksgiving cups. So now we're gonna head to a whole new town and let's see. Right. Big lots, tons of couches, tons of snow. Look at all those couches. Yep, sure nice. does. Oh, nice. We got flowers. It's gonna be a floral pick kind of night. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right, guys. Ollie's. Hannah broke 
Captain Llama. <laughs> Yeah, throw it on in. Got a record player. Got some earbuds. We got some some of these things. I think that fan is There's soap. It's just broken on the top. I can donate it. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a bird cage back there. They dumped all the dog food out though. Yeah, they sure did. All right, let's let me put this in the. Oh, is it ripped? Oh my god! It's not even ripped, guys. That is so nice. We did not expect that. I thought it was five below. I thought that was, it's ripped right here, but my mother-in-law can sew it. All right, let's see what else is in there. Don't fall, Shannon. Oh, it's a hamster. Oh, really? Oh, my boob. Did you get it? Oh, it's all broke on the bottom. Uh, all right, guys, we found an Aldi's. Look at all this, man. I don't wear my snow boots, dang it. Pizza. Potatoes, grapes. I think I see potatoes. Where? Rotten heavy cream. Everywhere. I think there's potatoes. Are those potatoes right there? Yep. Bag of potatoes. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, we found a Dollar General. And it's all just trash. That's that's empty. All right, guys, that's gonna do it in this town. I mean, we got a few things, not a lot, but a few things. We did good at Ollie's, we did good at Petco or Petland or PetSmart, whatever the heck it is. Pet something. And what else? Is that all we got? Yep. Yeah, that's it from this town. So. Goodness, the pop. What is on this? All right, a candle and dish soap. Okay. More dish soap. Get in the bag. Oh, there's a bunch of dish soap. Dish soap. It's leaking, but. Is soggy. Ooh. Oh, that was.
was awesome, guys. I knew my Dollar General wouldn't let me down. All right, let's go check Aldi's now. And that'll do it, because we are getting drenched, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Last dumpster is Aldi's biggest dumping, so. You're staying in the well, it's actually the same stuff that was in there last night, yesterday. The same pineapple was sitting on top. <laughs> there was a half container of kiwi in there, but it was like definitely moldy. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with us on this rainy, crappy, cold night. I'm going to go home and change my drawers because they are soggy. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the fourth. What is up, guys? Welcome to the full reveal. Yeah, it ain't very full, let me just tell you. <laughs> oh, man, we drove all the way to that other town, and we were, like, so pumped. We're like, oh, this is going to be awesome. You know, not so much. We literally got a bag of potatoes. We did get some stuff out of the Ollie's out there, which is cool. We did get a huge dog bed, which I am so excited about and um, a bag of potatoes at Ollie's. <laughs> That's it. It wasn't very much, but at least now we know what's available out there, and I think we just went on the wrong day. It's okay, we had so much fun anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Before we get into this small full reveal, I of course stopped at my P.O. box and I got more cards. So I will put the timestamp at the bottom here if you don't want to listen to me thank these people and you can skip right to the reveal. And if you do, then stick around. We got a super cute card and this is from Chris McCollum, AKA Chris ABQ. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not sure why. Karen, I thought you already sent me a card, didn't you? I could have swore, Karen, you already sent me a card. That's so weird. Somebody opened it. That's lovely. Karen and family, that's such a cute card. You know I love my glitter and my plaid, girl. That's so weird. Somebody like completely opened my card. How rude. <laughs> Let's see, Collins. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Dawn Robert and Bryce Collins. Thank you so much, guys. I will, of course, read these after the full reveal. I have to um, meet somebody from Facebook Marketplace because I sold um, the cat litter box, guys. Yay! Oh my God, that's an awesome card. Mary Watson from Bellevue, Florida, and she sent me $20. Mary, that was so kind of you. You guys don't have to send me money. But that was so, so nice of you, Miss Mary. Ooh, I like that one. Oh my word. Kenny and Jackie Grossman also sent me money. Guys, I don't need you to send me money. Please don't do that. Don't do that. I am fine. I am fine, guys. This is so sweet, though. Thank you guys so very much. Honestly, I don't ever expect money. Please don't. I'm just telling you guys what's going on in my life. I'm not doing it to complain or whine, as somebody just said on the comments that I'm whining. I'm not whining. I'm just literally telling you what's going on. Uh, this one is for Miss Beth, so that will go to her. Kim Soul. This is a big card. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. She sent me gift cards and a lovely letter. Why is there two here? Oh, this one's for Beth. Yay. Beth, you got a Starbucks gift card. We're going to Starbucks before we dive next time. Thank you guys. That is so awesome. And she sent me a lovely letter. Oh, so this is from Kim Soul from Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you so much. And I, of course, will read the card and the letter later. Like I said, I don't want you to think I'm not going to read your cards. I absolutely will. Thank all of you guys so much. But honestly, guys, I don't need you to send me money. I am fine. I promise. I'm just telling you what's been going on in my life. I never, ever expect you guys to send me gifts, to send me money, to any of that. I like to try and sell my dumpster finds, and I'm actually doing really well with it lately, and I've been making a good amount of money. I, of course, like to pass on the savings to people, so I'm still selling things dirt cheap, but making a profit because I'm getting them for free, 
and I'm able to pass on the savings to other people. So it's a win-win. <laughs> All right, let's get into this full reveal. So you guys seen, we stopped in the one town that we go to every so often just to see if there was anything good in the dumpsters there. And you seen what we got out of Aldi's. I need to go grab that because it's in my deep freezer. We also stopped at the Dollar General and all the Dollar Generals are throwing out all their fall floral picks, all of their fall like paper cups, plastic cups, paper plates, napkins, all that stuff. So we grabbed a ton of these floral picks, which are so super cute. There were $2, $1, some of them were $3. I cannot wait to make something with those. And then of course we grabbed these six count of football slash fall cups, which my girls will use these for sure. And let me go grab the amazing thing we got out of the Aldi dumpster. This is insanity to me. First of all, I've never even noticed that they sold huge cuts of beef like this at any Aldi's before, but I guess they do. So like I told you guys, this is a beef bone-in rib roast. It was $43.41. I swear, I ain't even lying. Look at the price. Is that not straight crazy to you? And it's not expired. I have no idea why they threw this in the dumpster. It literally does not expire until, what did I say? January, use or freeze by January 1st of 21. We went out diving on, what day was that? The 20th, the 21st, I'm not even sure. So this is still absolutely perfect. So now, two dives ago, I found a whole spiral ham, and this time I found a whole bone-in beef roast. <laughs> Like, honestly, I do better dumpster diving than I do grocery shopping. I find better things in the dumpsters than I do in the grocery store. <laughs> the video that's going to come out after this, I am going to be using a lot of the items that I found in the dumpster. Now, I didn't find a ton of things in the dumpsters. But I'm thinking in my mind what I want to do with. So, I will be using some staples that I have in my house that people would usually have in their homes as well like flour, butter, spices, things like that. So I am gonna make a meal from this. I am think I'm gonna save the ham for after Christmas since we're having ham on Christmas. But the dinner that I'm gonna make is gonna include this and it's gonna include the potatoes that I just found, which are right here from the Aldi's dumpster. There was one bad one in there, so I took him out and threw him in the garbage. And I also got some Velveeta from, what dumpster was this from? The Dollar General, I think, a few dives ago. So we'll be using this. And then I need um, like pasta because I was gonna do homemade macaroni and cheese because I do have some milk that I also found. So I'll have to buy the macaroni, like the elbow noodles myself, but those are a dollar from Walmart. So we're gonna make a super yummy dinner so super cheap. So be on the lookout for that video coming soon. Also in the town that we went to, the first town that we went to before we headed to the new town, we stopped at the Joanne's dumpster. <laughs> Guys, you've seen how much garland we pulled out of that dumpster. We left so much too. We filled my whole back seat and I was like, I really don't want all this garland. <laughs> but I did have a few people reach out to me and ask me if I had more. So I did want to grab some because I did have some subs email me and ask me if I wanted to sell some more of my garland and I had already sold it all. But don't worry guys, I got more. <laughs> if anybody needs any garland, I have tons. And like Beth said, these are all full pieces of garland. This is the full piece when it has the two loops at the end. This little piece of garland from Joann's is $16.99. Who in their right state of mind would pay $17 for this? <laughs> Not this girl. No, no. <laughs> I'm your girl if you need some. All right, moving on. So then we went to the new town and we had to drive about 40 minutes and it started pouring down rain. My windshield wipers were horrible. I couldn't see. So we had to go to like advanced auto so I could get new windshield wipers. Oh my goodness, it was hilarious. Then it's downpouring, we're diving in the pouring down rain and it's freezing. <laughs> we, we had a blast though, me and her laughed the whole entire time. Like seriously, 
we have so much fun dumpster diving, so we don't even care half the time if we find anything or not. But, you know, it kind of makes for a bad video if I don't find anything. <laughs> and like I said, we found an Aldi's and I did grab a five pound bag of potatoes. Only one was bad. So we'll be using that in my from the dumpster to the table video. And there was tons of dumpsters out there, guys. There was Petco, Petland, Five Below, Joanne's. Um, what else was there? A Hobby Lobby, but they have compactors. A Skechers outlet. Marshalls, I mean, they had everything out there, but there was nothing in any of the dumpsters except for the Ollie's. So we did find some luxury wafers with cappuccino cream filling, and these are still sealed. The plastic is still on, so these are perfectly good. We found a little Moana glitter globe. Um, there's no water in here. Or maybe, oh, you add the water. You put the water in there. How cool is that? And then it comes with all the stuff. So I'm going to donate this to Beverly's Birthdays. Rosemary scent dish soap. Uh, the top is obviously missing, but that ain't a big deal. You can still just, oh no, just the lid's missing to close it. So it still works just fine. And it's a full bottle. We got an oscillating radiant heater. What? I thought this was a fan. Oh my God, it's a heater. <laughs> the things you find out when you read the packages. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, guys. Look at that. I hope this works because I'm going to give it to um, one of the cooks I work with. He was telling me how he has a draft coming in his uh, living room right by his couch. So hopefully this works. If it does, I'll take it to work with me tonight. So that is so awesome. I thought it was a fan the whole time. Lord Shannon. <laughs> and then Beth found this turntable Crosley T100 stereo turntable system. And everything's in here, guys. Nothing has been cut. Nothing has been um, destroyed. I mean, they did rip this, but you can fix that easily on a stereo. That's not a big deal. Yeah, you just wire that right into the turntable itself. And the turntable's right here, and it looks like it's in perfectly good shape. And this sold for $70 at Ollie's. $70. That's crazy. And the plug and everything is in the box. So that is amazing. I'm gonna see if this works also. And if it does, I'm also gonna give this to one of the cooks I work with. And just say, Merry Christmas. <laughs> we also found some Mike and Ike earbuds. So strange, but. <laughs> so the other cook I work with always says how he goes through so many earbuds. So I'm just gonna bring him these. So he has a backup pair. And then in that town, we went to what we thought was Five Below's dumpster. When we opened it up, I about crapped my drawers <laughs> because this was sitting right on the top. Look at how big this bed is, guys. Let me stand up so you can see. <laughs> this thing is huge. I cannot believe how big it is. There is a rip right here, but I am pretty sure my mother-in-law can fix that. And she can sew that up. And then Peanut has himself a big old bed. I tried to give that to Beth because she has a huge dogo. Um, that's the breed of dog she has. And this dog is massive, guys. <laughs> but her dog is so spoiled and she does not lay on dog beds. Oh, no. She goes on the couch or Beth's bed. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll give that to you and your mom can fix it. And she's like, my dog won't use it. <laughs> I mean, that thing has to be, what, $50, $60 there? I'm sure, at least. Dog beds are not cheap, guys. They are expensive. Then we went to a, what was it, a Big Lots, I think? Yeah, Big Lots. And sadly, this was all we found. Some floral picks, again. So then we headed to the go-to town, and we were like, okay, we're going to find stuff here. Do you know that we checked every dumpster and we only found one thing in the Ollie's dumpster, which is awesome, but I don't know if it works. So it's a King heated micro plush blanket and it's super nice. It's super soft. The plug's in there. 
Of course, it said that it doesn't work, but I'm gonna test it out and see if it works, and then I'll try and get the spray paint off of it, because you guys know how they love to spray paint. Hopefully, I can get it out. But I figure if I can't get it out, no big deal. I'm gonna take the cord, throw it away, and I'll donate the blanket to the no-kill shelter. So the dogs aren't gonna care if it's spray painted. <laughs> and they are always asking for blankets there. So no big deal. If it doesn't work, then that's where it's gonna go. Then we left the go-to town with our tail between our legs and super sad. <laughs> so we headed to my Dollar General and wouldn't you know it, there was stuff in the dumpster. Not a ton like there normally is, but we may have gotten beat at that dumpster because what I found was all the way on the bottom. So we grabbed out a candle. This is Unwind Fresh Valley. It smells really good. Of course it's broken, but that doesn't bother us. We got some cherry lip, blop, lip balm and it's still in the plastic. Case of ultra antibacterial dishwashing soap and one must have leaked, so they threw the whole case out. So I will give Beth three and I'll keep two. But I have to show everything in the reveal. So that's why a lot of times you guys are like, I know a lot of new subscribers are always like, why doesn't Beth take anything? Because I need to film it in the reveal, guys. <laughs> so anything that I give her, I just give it to her after I show it. And also, those of you that are new, she is OCD. She does not like clutter. She does not like mess. She would never have her downstairs looking like this, <laughs> like I do. So she only takes things when she absolutely wants them or likes them or knows her mom would like them. So she doesn't take a lot of stuff. I don't know what to tell you. She's allowed to take whatever she wants. Why would I have my best friend come with me and say, no, you can't have anything? <laughs> uh, we got a six pack of orange Fanta. Some bottles fell out, but they're still right there. We got two six packs of cherry Coke right there. And uh, what else did I get there? I think that's it. I'm looking around like, wasn't there something else? No, Shannon, that's all you got. <laughs> it's not like my normal, usual huge hauls, but you know, I mean, we probably got, I don't know, at least $250 worth of garland. I would say that's at least $250. <laughs> and of course we got the $70 record player. We got the heater that I thought was a fan, the huge pet bed, all the drinks and the dish soap. And let's not forget my $44 beef roast. So it was quality over quantity. <laughs> so thank you guys so very much for hanging out with us last night. Actually, it was two nights ago. I'm not going to lie. I took a day off yesterday and got my house cleaned for Christmas, but it, anyway, I'm getting off subject and rambling yet again. What was I talking about? Oh my word, I just totally lost my train of thought. Thank you guys again for hanging out with us when we went diving and me today. We had so much fun and I hope you guys did too. Stay tuned, like I said, for the from the dumpster to the table video, which will be coming to you guys soon. I, of course, will talk to all of you in those comments down below. And until next time, guys, happy diving. Bye. Christmas memories.